to begin. Testing out their robot, members of the Hilton Head High School's robotics team took turns practicing their driving skills. The team's first competition is in January, and the lead engineer says he made some special modifications to help make driving the robot easier. One of our, one of our key features was um, some of the drivetrain that we used and also the speed. We used mecanum wheels, and then from there, we you know, allowed us to go in any which direction we want at a dime, so we can turn 360, we can you know, left, right, forward, backwards, anything. Um, and then we had a special move called the J-turn. And you know, our driver wanted to hit a button and the machine go forward, do a quick 180, pick up something and come back. The robot also has another added feature to help in the competitions. Our robot for the first year, we were allowed to do visual tracking and I programmed that in. So for this competition, we had to drive forward and place a gear on a peg. And it was really hard to calculate the distance from um, which the peg was to like in comparison with the robot. Five members of this team are also involved in Zero Robotics, a tournament run by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and NASA. More than 160 teams of students from around the world compete in several competitions programming a mini satellite to do specific tasks. All of the teams that are involved in this, they are really good coders. So what they're judging you is basically how well you perform and how efficient your code is. Because you, you have certain limits, so you can go, your code can't go above like 1,500 words. The Hilton Head team is currently in fifth place, and if they continue to do well, they will have the opportunity to compete at MIT. At Hilton Head High School, Ron Lopes, Buford County School District.